these biscuits I've been making for 25 years or more. <laughs> I'm always aging myself, aren't I? But it was so funny when I first heard about this recipe, it's before the internet, it was like the early 90s or in my neck of the woods. And it came out and it was rumored that it was Popeye's Biscuits recipe. But since then I've seen Popeye's Biscuits recipe online and it isn't, but it's still very good and it's really simple and easy to make and it's only four ingredients. It's Bisquick, sour cream, melted butter, and 7-Up. <laughs> yes, 7-Up. So I want to share it with y'all. Um, I'm frying chicken today because y'all have asked and asked and asked for that. And I'm going to link that in another video in the description box. But I want to do these biscuits with that today because it reminds me of back when I used to fry chicken for John and me. I also would make these biscuits and my boys were home and I would feed them this as well. And um, and it's very simple and easy and it's fun because you're putting seven up in there, you know. So um, start with this. Now Bisquick is something that I can get here, but many of you have told me you cannot get it where you are. It's just a biscuit mix and it's pre-mixed and it already has a fat like a shortening in it. Um, and a flour and a leavening agent like a baking powder or baking soda. So if you cannot get this, I do have a homemade recipe. I'll try to, if I, today, I'll try to do that and put it in another video, but if not, it's still going to have a recipe for a homemade biscuit mix that you can make and you can have ready to make these anytime you make a big bulk of it. Um, in the description box on YouTube, I'll put that there, okay? So don't let that stop you. And I think Jiffy also has a biscuit mix, um, and there's other biscuit mix brands out there, so just uh, don't know that you don't just have to use this quick, okay? But that's what we're going to start with today. And we're going to need two cups. So I just went on and pulled my bag out. I'm also going to keep it out because we're also going to use the Bisquick to dust our board with to, roll, to put these biscuits out on. I'm not even going to roll them. I'm just going to hand press them. We're not going to mess up a bunch of dishes today. So I'm getting two cups here, just like this. Put that to the side. Now something before I get too deep in, I've got my pan. I'm using this nine inch cast iron pan. It's flat. I think it's called a spider pan, but you can use any cast iron. You can use a, a baking dish of any type you have. Okay. So don't let that stop you either. I've got one quarter cup of melted butter and I'm going to put half of it right now on the bottom and put this in my oven that's preheating to 450 degrees. That's a hot oven in it. Fahrenheit. And I'm going to let this butter already get really good and hot to put our biscuits on. Let me put this in the oven. I'll be right back. We're going to start with our two cups of Bisquick. And into that we need to cut half a cup of sour cream. And I'm using my full fat sour cream. Like when we were younger, I used to cook all these things for John and me and my boys. Because we were all younger and John and I were skinnier. <laughs> and I haven't done these in years, so I'm happy to do them with y'all. This makes my day. Yes, it does. Put this in our biscuit mix, just like that. And I've got a little pastry cutter that I'm going to just cut this in like that. If you don't, just use you a fork or a couple of knives. I just need to kind of get that sour cream cut in there a little bit, just like that. Nothing, nothing fancy, okay? Y'all saw how fast that was. You can imagine how moist the sour cream makes it, right? Was that too loud? I know, guys. I am very loud. In yes, I am. All right, to this, I'm going to put one half cup of uh seven up and you could use sprite as well but sprite to me is a little sweeter and so the seven up is the original recipe that i had found so that's what i'm sticking with i need just a half a cup of it as well make sure i'm not doing too much or too little and then you got a little bit for a snack huh that's good all right, one half cup. I was making sure, y'all, with that glasses on last days. You know, back when I was 
making these last time I didn't need glasses. <laughs> and now I'm just going to bring the stove together. Isn't that easy? I know, I know. When, when it's just a few ingredients, it, it makes it seem not so daunting to us, doesn't it? We don't have to drag a bunch of stuff out and we can make them. Just that quickly they came together. So, I'm going to get cleaned up and we're going to put these out on this board, okay? I'll see y'all in just a second. Y'all, before I ever get started on my work surface, if I'm going to do something straight on my kitchen island, I always clean it with vinegar because it's food grade and it does kill germs. Isn't that wonderful? Um, so that way I don't have to worry about it getting into my food and what I'm cleaning with and it's taking care of all my germs to get it all good and clean. So I just want I've shared that with y'all before but I just want to say again use vinegar and it's going to dry and it doesn't taste like vinegar once it dries so you won't even smell it again. So that's my little cleaning tip for today. All right, y'all, I'll use a little bit more of this biscuit mix for our surface, our work surface. I'm trying to get that so y'all can see. I'm going to turn this out. Now, when my boys were still home, I would usually make a double batch of these biscuits, but it's just John and me this evening, so I can do this single recipe. Yes, I can. And it's very moist and a little bit sticky, so don't be, don't be intimidated by that, okay? I'm going to get a little bit more of this on my hands, kind of sprinkle on top. And I'm just going to bring it together just a little bit. And I call it tidying, tidying it, making it tidy. I might fold it a couple of times on itself, just like this. And tidy it up. Y'all see that, how I kind of got it all coated in the mix? And that's it, nothing scary. And like I say, I didn't even get out a rolling pin. I'm just gonna flatten it out with my hand, just like this. Just like that. John and I like them a little bit on the thick side, puffy side, but you as thin or as thick as you want, okay? Okay, y'all, let me get that hot pan out of our oven and get these biscuits on it. Be ever so careful with your hot pan with that hot butter, okay? Please don't hurt yourself on account of this recipe. I'm doing a little bit more of this biscuit just to Put my little biscuit cutter in. I did not have this biscuit cutter when my boys were little. I would just use a little juice glass or whatever I could find. Um, I think this one is about a two inch, maybe a two and a half inch. I'm not sure, but no matter. Isn't it gonna be good? Mm, yes, and I'm gonna put it right down in that hot butter and that hot pan. And y'all, I don't waste one little spot on this when I'm cutting biscuits. I go right next to one another. They are already sizzling down on this pan, y'all. Oh, I can already tell it's gonna be good. I love my biscuits to touch and kinda stay soft between one another. You could spread these out on a big cookie sheet if you want to. You make this your little biscuit recipe, okay? Please feel free to do that. back in my this quick and I've got some left. No, I'm not going to waste that. Sure not. I'm going to just bring it all together and do a few more just like that. Do a couple of more. And I believe I can get maybe one or two more out of there, y'all. So I am going to do it again. Yes, 
Yes, I am. One, two, I know, I don't want to waste a piece of this, do I? Two. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Oh, he's trying to fall apart. That's okay. He's still going to taste good. And there's a little bitty bit right there. I don't want to waste that either, y'all. My chickens will eat that, won't they? Yes, they will. We'll stick it in there. Do y'all hear that? They're ready. Hang on, I'll get them. Oh my goodness, let me come show y'all up close. Aren't they pretty? Yes, so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful even. Oh my. Okay, y'all. Um, we need some butter, don't we? <laughs> I got the butter. Y'all, these are so hot. Let's see. Let's see here. I'm going to get one. I'm going to open and show y'all the middle. Show y'all the middle of it. How beautiful and fluffy they are. You ready? Let me see. Let's see here. There he is. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, y'all. We're going to put some butter and we're going to taste it. Y'all know how much well, my butter's flying all over the place. Y'all know how much I want to just hand y'all all the biscuit? Woo, he's hot. Yes, he is. We're going to taste him. Letting that butter melt. Y'all ready? <laughs> So very good. They're light and fluffy. Of course, I've never made a biscuit I didn't love. And the 7-Up gives them the tiniest little hint of sweetness. Like you just put a little bit of sprinkle in there so it's not overwhelming. It's very good. It makes you want to get some honey and put on here too. <laughs> y'all gonna make these quick biscuits, okay? And I will see y'all soon.